Look at that guy go. He's just going for it. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to Ark. So, today, we will be going and taming a Bloodstalker. But first, I gotta run to the island and go and get me some cre- Or, not the island. Over to Extinction and go get some creatures. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say the island. But anyways, yeah. Um, I also have one itty-bitty accident I have to explain to you guys. So, just a bit- I lost a video. What happened was, um, I was recording the parts- that weren't supposed to be recorded, which was uh, the parts in between, say the entire time I'm jumping in between and going over to Extinction to grab the shield generator because uh, I turned Crush into the base. So yeah. So just if it, I, what happened was I accidentally hit my, uh, pa my, record, my pause button one too many times at one point. So it started and stopped. And the entire time I was talking, it was paused, and you get the gist of it. Uh, but anyways, I lost that video. So, we're on to this one, where Crush is now our base. Uh, I have converted him into it. The shield is perfect. Uh, I will give you guys a tour here before I transfer over to the island. Uh, so, yeah. So, again, we got the teleporter here. It is named Turtle Base. That That is what it is. And when it pops up on... The GPS, yeah, it has a paw next to it, so I know it is a, what is it, it is a platform saddle base, so. Then, again, feeding trough, then I did make this a little staircase to help us get in and out of the water, say, if we don't have jetpack on, or if it's just damaged in any way or disabled. So, yeah. I also thought maybe I might be able to find a way to get some ladders to hook onto the end of those. Especially rope ones that I can lower. So that way I can hop onto it, say, when we're on dry land, such as walking through the Arctic biome. Which I have done with this. I tested it out, made sure this all worked. Because on to our next area, I'll explain further why I had to test the shield. So, as you guys see, we do have the breeding area. Alright? Now you thought you may think a breeding area on the back of a anim on a platform saddle, really, or on the back of Crush? Yeah, that, that's kind of insane. Yeah, ish. Um, the only thing I might have trouble with is the incubator. This is the only thing that has not been tested, but I know these two should work. Their ranges should stretch out to basically any dino in the area. So they will collect eggs, and you will imprint. Uh, I'll deactivate. Eh, may as well just have you activated constantly. Yeah, and then we also have the cryo fridge here with all our dinosaurs in it. And then we got the house. Now, again, this structure looks very familiar to you guys. It is quite literally one of the prefabs I have made. Quite literally four times now. Because I got one in the desert biome, the arctic biome, and the cave biome on extinction. Now this one I made and brought over to just personally put on crush. So, now if you guys are wondering where Gizmo and Gremlin are, they're over here on this cryo fridge. So there's Gr Gremlin and Gizmo. And yes, you can pop them out on the back of crush. I have looked. So, they'll do a little bit of a weird thing. Oh, th he's laying down. Okay. Sometimes they do a weird thing where they'll, like, skip, and then they'll stop. But, yeah, you can drop them out like such. But, yeah. Uh, cryo cryoing has been a little scary. Because I don't, I don't even want to try. Nope. 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 Yeah. I gotta be careful when I'm cryoing. Make sure I'm cryoing the right creatures. Because I can't, uh... I can't cryo him with the base on his back. That'd be worst possible scenario. So, that's a little sketchy. Ain't gonna lie. So, you can go back in here, Gizmo. But in here, again, I just stuffed the bed. We got the fridge, of course, with all our kibbles. I'm, I haven't even got, I had to use these yet. You know what the worst part is? The next creature I'm going to tame requires blood. But, anyways, we do got the generator and such. And which, that's basically the end of it. And if you're wondering where the mutator went, it is in here. 
I figured we'll just pull it out if we ever need it and such and of course I almost forgot to mention this with this breeding area if I do end up needing more room I can increase this more because this thing is just a little bit over halfway in size so it can go a bit bigger so yeah and it moves fantastically in the water so yeah now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to quickly throw all my gear that I have on me over into this uh you know what I mean I can't think off the top of my head of what it's actually called but this transmitter it that's actually what it's called the tech transmitter jeez I'm an idiot why am I like drawing so many blanks today it's so so it's just irritating actually just irritating um, that's raw meat. I need to throw back in here. Do, 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 do. And you know what? Uh, you know, you hang on to the berries. You're eating. The, you're the only thing eating the berries right now. Nothing's gonna eat this meat. I'll throw that in there. And then here we go. Transfer this all over, so that way I don't lose any of my gear. So we're just gonna head over to extinction. We'll spawn in the sky or in the skyscraper. Yeah, skyscraper base. My work of art. The, the base I've worked the hardest on. You, though. You, though. You are one of my favorite bases thus far. Just because it's crush. And you have your own vegetation on your back. It's my own private island. I can move. Okay. We are back on extinction. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. I got a little confused. Uh, because we have completed extinction. We do not have an implant. So that actually confused me there for a second. I don't want to go to any of those. Did my desert bed get destroyed? Like, that's an actual question. Did it? I don't know. But anyways, what we need is Des here. And we are going to be grabbing some cryopods. Now, these cryopods are going to be very important. They're going to be what I need to get everything ready to go tame the Bloodstalker. So what I'm going to do is I'm mostly going to get moss chops for the Bloodstalker to feed on. I'm going to just breed up five, bring the those with me. And I just realized my cryopods aren't stored here anymore. I Why did I think they were still stored there? We've had like them down here for so long. So anyways, in terms of aquatic creatures that we're going to be getting first off liptopleurodons they are quite literally quite literally i got, got so confused there as well uh deodons of the ocean then we need a two so two 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 so's yeah two so's and then tech moses okay that's what we're taking now moss chops right Moss chops. Yeah, we're just going to take normal moss chops. And now, Dez, I need a cryopod for you. But anyways, I'm going to get these guys all transferred over. Um, Don't worry, I will bring them back over at some point. They are not going to stay over permanently at all. They're going to come back over to these cryo fridges. I plan on finishing Genesis off with all that stuff on Genesis Part 2. So... Okay, so we're back over on uh, Genesis Part 1. So I'm going to go grab all my guys out of the cryo for it, or the tech transmitter, and I'm going to go put them over here in the cryo fridge with all my other uh, bre breeding pair creatures. Or my paired creatures, you know what I mean. I'm starting to lose my mind. And you can tell. But yeah, well, oh my God, why can't? Okay. Now that I'm done with that, what I'm gonna do here is essentially we're gonna go and breed up moss chops, like such. Oh, ooh, these guys legit just pop out like so. Oh my God. I, oh, I was about to say no difficulty at all, but we did have a little bit of a scare. And luckily, though, this guy just is perfect. Crush, you are awesome, man. I can legit do this on your back. 
uh, don't clip that. Alrighty, guys. Before we get on to the blood stalker taming, I gotta go do some stuff here and explain some stuff to you. So, if you guys are liking the video so far, please do remember to go leave a like and a comment if you would like. But most importantly, go subscribe and ring that bell. If you also have been here for a while, I also now have memberships available for the channel. So if you guys would like to go and join that, go ahead. But anyways, let's go back into the video. And so it is time. I got my moss chops ready to go. So they are all bred up and they are fully raised. I got four of them. Now these are just so that way I can get 100%, uh, you know, taming effectiveness on the creature. And these guys are going to be a little bit difficult because if they grab me straight up, they're going to just start taming and drinking the blood, which I cannot have. So, hopefully me and Dez can get enough blood that if that does happen, we don't run out. Um, we, but we might have some blood stalkers tame up today that we don't need. So, what we're going to do here is the only way I can get around HLNA reporting for adventure. is basically like this. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to teleport the entire base over to the... Where is it? The bog biome, and we're going to just spawn in the south. Time to so, we'll get teleported over here. Now this is a tiny, tiny bit laggy here, so I will just pause the video so that way you guys don't have to sit here and watch through the lag. Okay, it appears we have teleported over safely once again. Let me just do my checks, make sure everything is in its place. Yep. Oh, you guys are there. Is Gizmo and Gremlin still here? Yep. Yep, everything's good. I just like to do that check every now and again. I just realized I deactivated the barrier as well. But anyways, I'm going to move you over here, hopefully, to an area. Uh, I guess, you know what? We'll find the blood stalkers and we'll move over towards them. What we're going to do here is, 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 I guess we'll mark this one here. And what we'll do is we'll start moving the base over to that. Okay, guys, so I got the base transported over into an area that I find relatively safe. I mean, this guy's just safe anywhere. He's got the bubble. So, I mean, worst case scenario, I get yoinked by... Oh my god, there's one right there. Oh my god, you're like, what a day. You're waiting for me, aren't you? Ooh. You can't get in the bubble. Interesting. So, if I step out, you get blasted with a shotgun and die immediately. Okay. Um, you know what? He's perfectly fine where he is. I want it to be flatter. Yeah, that's as good as we're gonna get. Okay. So, in the time it has taken me to walk over here to here, more bloodsuckers have spawned in. So, what I figured we'd do here is, again, I've gone off a level. We're just going to have to work through them. Um, we got two of them here that are 300, 150. Let's see what this one offers for us. That one is over there. Dez... Actually, before I can even do anything, I gotta go get blood. So, hopefully, stuff like this is just lying around. So I can get blood packs. I'd like to get a good... Uh, let's go 400 so I can make a sanguine and have a steady 200 for the taming. Okay, so... I have gotten... I hit the wrong button. I have gotten the blood I need. Now, what we're going to do is essentially, how do I get this to you? I need to figure out how, here, let's, 
let's figure this out. Alright, you, let's put it away. Um, I wonder. Because you don't seem to want to pick me off of Des. Des, you land. Now, I might have to go recover this if it doesn't work. Okay, here we go. Damn it, you went the wrong way. Now watch, you'll grab me from down here for some reason. Okay, here we go. Maybe if I just leave Dez. You bastard. That's mine. If you want something to eat, take him. Grab it, 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 grab it. Nope. But, I think that right there is a good indicator. If we just leave a moss chop there, it might get yoinked. Hopefully. Okay, for some reason, he just wants Dez. I hopped off of Dez to quickly check something, and he, he grabbed Dez. Like, watch. It's like as soon as I hop off of him, too. I guess Des just looks more enticing. Here, maybe if I do this. You, Des Modus, before I cryo you. Oh my god, this dude is... He's only wanting Des. So, let's get this made. I'm now going to take the blood off of you, just so that way I have it. Now... You're going to get cryopotted just so that way you don't get eaten by accident. I don't think he can take a flyer. I don't think it's allowing it. Now, it did appear that for some reason up there, it was getting it. So maybe we're just out of his range. So if I drop the moss chop here within range. Yes! No? No? Does uh, the moss chop here have to be closer? Like, it seemed like he had it, but then it dropped. Let me go try one other place I can put a moss chop. I could feasibly see him getting a moss chop from over here, maybe. Okay. That's another moss chop he can grab. Now, one more. As you can see, I'm trying to keep some stuff in between me and him here. Ooh. Right there. That's three moss chops within what I feel like is a range he can get. And he's eating one. He's eating a moss chop. Are you eating the one I just threw there? It appears like you are. Okay, now what that means, because he is eating the moss chop. No, it doesn't. Shit. Do you have to kill the moss chop first? I think you have to kill the moss chop first. But, again, this Bloodstalker has 30 points in it. I looked at it already. I don't think I got it on video, though. But, yeah, it's points are 30 for you guys that want to know. He's almost like a pitch black, too. Moss Chop's dying slowly. Okay, so we're getting real low here on the health on the Moss Chop now. So hopefully, what happens is, just in case he does grab me, what happens is the Moss Chop dies, and he gets imprinting quality, right? Yeah? No. Okay, let's try something else. I need you to grab me. Okay, here we go. So what I need to do is I need to struggle now. Because, or actually, I need to have him pull up. Alright, so what I'm going to do is... Now we need to struggle... This is just so that way his taming bar gets started. 
There we go. Now, what we'll do is we'll go up here. We will throw him up. Boom. That's actually perfect. Now. There you go, bud. So when he wants to grab something again, he's got the moss chops over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Did not mean to uh, cough right into the mic. I got that stuck on the bottom. It's bugged. Oh, okay, he just grabbed one of my moss chops. Um, but unfortunately, I had the other one still on aggressive, so it ran. Oh, geez. Uh, let's actually run and see if we can find it. He fell straight down. That guy should be just fine. Um, I don't see it. It's gone. Let's hope you're enough. <clears throat> Alrighty, we're getting real close to him being done munching on that mossy. So we'll see if we have to go find one of our other moss shops or not. Because I can just pull up the creature finder and do it. Just whenever. So. Alright. Yeah, we will need to go find them. Okay, so we got our moss chops. So, boom. Passive. Okay. Now the other one. Boom. Passive. Just so that way they don't go running. Now I will let him grab them and finish up. So that there would be the second one as of now. Um, seeing how long this video is starting to run, we are at the 20 minute mark. I may not uh, do the second tame, or we may not record the next couple tamings, because I already got 20 minutes of comment videos. What am I talking about? I already got 20 minutes worth of content. I'm trying to aim for a 30 minute video. So this guy probably, hopefully here is another five minutes. So then we'll do breeding here. We'll try and stretch it. We might have a 35 minute video. Alrighty, and here is the second moss chop down. Yep, you went up by another one. I will definitely need one more moss chop. Okay guys, so technically, I didn't even have to go get that other moss chop. <clears throat> he ate this one and it jumped to 99.9. So this is like max. That is the best efficiency we are going to ever get. Alright. Um, I'm going to legit just stand here. Let him grab me and suck that blood up. Um, where's my sanguine? Do I have it? Where'd it go? Oh, it might have expired. Okay, so I found my sanguine elixir. Quote on quote. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing expired while I was just... No, I might have... I never took it out of Dez. I just removed the blood. I'm an idiot. It's always down there somewhere. Here we go. Take me. Take me. All right, here we go. There you go. Uh, ooh, it doesn't look like I can hit you with the same wing. But he's sucking in that blood. You're just sucking it in. Oh, my God. Look at that guy go. He's just going for it. Do it. Do it. You're so... Yeah, this guy's going to be so done. We're going to get him easily. Easily. Okay, so we got to 90%. So he's drank almost 300 blood. Alright. Well, it's tame. But are you feeling He right? drank almost 300 blood. He took three moss chops. No, he took four moss chops. Yeah. No, he took three because the first one did not count. But how do you work? Oh my god. Okay. Um, Before I go flinging myself around and, you know, exploring with this guy... I would like to go actually get my other two tamed up and bred. So, because I am now running short on the video time, I am going to go and proceed to go do this. And then I'll get back to you guys here afterwards. Okay guys, so I've now gotten all my blood stalkers here. 
And we have teleported back over to the ocean biome, so we should be pretty safe here. We were safe there over in the, well, the bog biome, and yeah, I just wanted an area where it was flat. <laughs> I got t My OCD is what kicked in, and just like seeing this entire base out of slant, like, yeah. That kind of threw me off. So for what na all I'm going to do now is just because I only have one female, I guess I can throw the other male out. He, he'll be up here by the cockpit. Oh shoot, he fell in the water. Uh, you don't have to be in the water. Damn it. How do I get you back up? There you go. There you go. Here, man. You, you you can just chill here. You don't have to go in the water. If you want to go in the water, you can. Um, I might just expand the shield. Uh, no, no. We'll leave the shield at a five. A five and a half. So. What we need to do is just go over to these guys. Hit enable mating. And boom. Enable mating. And yeah. What we're going to do is I'm going to get the stats. So I'm going to get the stamina off of you. And I'm going to get the health off of you and the stamina off of you. And then you have my melee, right? Yeah. So that's what we'll do. We'll get the stamina and health together. Then we'll get the... You're the stamina, right? Yeah. So then we'll get the stamina and melee together. And then, voila, we'll finish them off. Okay, guys. So as you can see here, I've gotten the Bloodstalkers basically completed this one here is my personal one i'm just waiting for him to finish up um i think he needs meat right or are you eating you eat him you eat i know you're not eating oh my god uh does you got meat on you no i just realized this thing. i don't have meat so yeah now i got more meat i got some meat in there now but he is imprinting he should be done here soon so once he's done i'll go and we'll fly around on him but yeah here, I'll show you the parents. Ah, uh, here they are. Here's the parents. Your guys' food's empty. Oh my god, it is. I need to throw you guys out so you can eat. Alright. We'll leave the parents out here eating, and then I'll take... Uh, I need to name you. Okay, so these guys are all now fed up. Oh my, I didn't even notice that. Jeez. I ran out of meat. These guys must have just sucked me dry as I was raiding them. Oh my god, they ate everything. Although I don't, usually don't keep much in there. Oh my god, they almost ate everything again. Like, no joke. Oh, shoot. How are you doing? You're good. Okay. Uh, I need to get more meat if I need to breed stuff. So. Yay. But anyways, now... <clears throat> <clears throat> gotta clear my throat here, sorry. We gotta, we got to figure out how to do this. How do I use this guy? So, he's gotta jump. He's got the ability to walk on water, but he's also got the ability to go under? No, 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 that's not what I wanna do. I would like to lat latch on to certain, like, just two things. Like, you see how it, like, has two things pop up? You, you get to die. You die. Come here. Okay, thank you. Now... Like, what's preventing me from doing... So what, is this just how I move? I click? Oh, okay. So I guess left click holds, right click launches. Okay, that's 
So that's how that's done. Okay. So what I would like to do here is if I could figure out Okay, yeah. Down here would probably be a good spot, because then I could learn to launch my... Come here. Oh, you're both attacking me. Okay. Uh, let's get out of the alligator pit. How about that? Ah! I need to figure out how to, how to use you guys. Jeez. I'm trying to figure this out. I seriously am. Wait, so am I now lock locked in between the two of them? Hold up. I... I'm in between two of them. Okay, okay, hold up. Maybe in... Can I see better in first per son? You doing okay, buddy? Uh. Yeah. We'll figure this out. Uh, okay. So I think it's left, right, and. Okay. I think I know what I need to do now to launch us. Alrighty. Okay, I somewhat figured it out. Here, we'll do it over here. So, left, right. We'll send back, charge up the jump, and whoop. I might just be in a bad spot to do one of these. Holy shit. Am I stuck to something? Yep. Alright, so when it's blue, that means nothing's connected. So if I go... Well, bam. Okay, yeah, we'll figure out how to do this more tomorrow. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go do something here, which is called getting ready for motor for Friday. So yes, or tomorrow, actually. So tomorrow should be motor day. So we're going to do a boss.